sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of Afternoon Live is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Welcome back to Afternoon Live. 20% of Americans will experience the condition and symptoms of GERD, also known as chronic acid reflux. Here to help us understand more about digestive health is Dr. Christy Dunst with Providence Digestive Health Institute in Oregon. Dr. Christy, thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, I kind of mentioned a little bit about, it, what, about what GERD was. It's just chronic acid reflux, but add a little bit to that. What exactly is GERD? So uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease has a huge variation, but most commonly it is uh, symptoms of heartburn or regurgitation, which is the feeling of fluid coming up, like kind of surprisingly into your mouth, and also trouble uh, with swallowing or dysphagia. How does that affect your health? So it affects the health in a variety of ways. The underlying pathophysiology of gastroesophageal reflux disease is that the mechanism that we have uh, is a built-in reflux valve that is located between the esophagus or swallowing tube and the stomach. So normally in a normal healthy individual, there's a valve down there so that it opens when you swallow food, food goes through nicely, lands into your stomach for digestion, but that valve then closes up to prevent the backflow of gastric juice into your esophagus. The esophagus isn't really made to handle um, exposure to acid from the stomach, but in gastroesophageal reflux disease, that valve is broken. And so the acid that comes back into the esophagus can literally burn the esophagus and it causes all kinds of symptoms and problems. And what's the treatment then for GERD? So luckily, most people that have GERD can be successfully treated with medications. There's lots of varieties of high, high, um, highly potent antacid medications out there and most of them are over the counter. But in a, in a significant percentage of people, those medications don't work or they don't work sufficiently. And so the uh, treatment then escalates to a variety of surgical procedures. And what does that look like? A, a surgery? Mm -hmm. So there's a variety. Um, traditionally for the past, you know, um, over, fi over 50 years, there's been one surgery that is called a fundiplication. And a fundiplication is where we take your part of your own stomach to rebuild that reflux mechanism. And over the past maybe 15 years, we've had significant adva advancements in the surgical options. And now uh, we have a variety. There's um, certain implants, magnetic implants. There's certain um, approaches that can uh, recreate the valve through your mouth. And so now we're able to tailor the, um, the severity of the disease to the treatment options, which is a really good thing. If GERD goes untreated, it can create more serious health problems? GERD can cause all kinds of problems. Um, I think it's important to understand that that GERD is such a huge spectrum of disease. One person may just have uh, heartburn after dinner and take some Tums every night. And that's, you know, pretty mild, but it can range all the way up to uh, creating problems with your lungs and even cancer. Uh, so there's a, a, a large variety. So see your doctor, obviously, if you're having, if you're experiencing any symptoms. Yeah, I think if you're having daily daily problems with heartburn and you're starting to take medication on a regular basis, it's good to check in with your doctor and uh, let them know. Um, there are certain ways that we can screen patients for uh, the development of complications, but also just to have a discussion so that you're aware so that you're aware of what to look out for. Dr. Jones, thank you so much. Okay, thanks a lot. Yes, we're going to have more information about GERD and the Providence Digestive Health Institute on our website at katu.com. There's the phone number on your screen as well. Don't go away. We'll be right back.